Good morning. Welcome to the Three Arts World News. My name is Snowy, and this is Shelley. Today we will be thinking about why waste is bad for our environment. First, we will go over to our on-the-spot reporter to see the damage that is currently being caused. Here you can see one of many shoppers buying lots of things, hardly using them, and then throwing them away and simply buying more stuff. This means that factories need to make even more things for people to buy. This uses lots of energy, which causes pollution and greenhouse gases that contribute to global warming. Do you see? If he and all the others like him carry on, our whole planet shall be a horrible, hot place to be in. Back to you in the studio. Thank you for a perfect example of why waste is bad for the environment. Now over to see what's happening in the forest. Hi, Fox. Am I still having lunch round at your house today? Oh, Hedgehog, it's awful. You can't come round for lunch in my tree because a silly human chopped my house down. What? That happened to my cousin just the other day. What is going on? Well, it's very strange, but I heard that humans are cutting down trees to make paper. Oh no! Look, Fox, the trees are disappearing. Soon there'll be nowhere for us to live. It doesn't seem fair that the homes of the animals are disappearing. Next, the world is going to speak to us via satellite. I'm not happy, you know. For far too long, people have been taking advantage of me. All over the world, people just take, take, take and waste, waste, waste without even a second thought to how it might affect me. For years, litter and pollution keeps going up and up and I just keep getting sicker and sicker and more damaged. I can't stand it anymore. Something needs to change or we're all going to be in a lot of bother. If only humans knew that lots of people making small changes would make a big difference. As we can see, waste is really bad for the world. The question is, what can we do about it? Okay, now we understand what we can do. How can it be done? Over to our friends at the local supermarket to tell us about reducing. Did you hear about my sister? No. What happened to her? She was part of a big bag of 12 oranges and was bought by a man. But this man only ate two and my poor sister spent two weeks in a fruit bowl. Oh no, that's terrible. What happened to her then? She got all wrinkly and shriveled and finally got thrown in the bin. That's awful. She could be in the landfill or the incinerator now. The trouble is, there are always offers on and people can't resist them. Yeah, but it isn't a great bargain if half ends up in the bin. If only people would just buy what they need. Good stuff. Now to the charity shop to find out about reusing. Hello. Nice to meet you. How did you end up here? Oh, I've had a great life. A girl called Sam bought me, and then when she got too big for me, she gave me to her little brother. Wow, it sounds great. Yes. Eventually, when I was too small for him, their parents brought me here. I was worried I was going to be thrown away and end up in an incinerator or a landfill. Oh no, that would be a disaster for both you and the environment. I know, thankfully I've come to the right place. Look, there's someone coming and it might be time for a new adventure. That's more great advice. Finally, we'll have a live link to the local park to find out about recycling. Hi there, how are you? Fine thanks, I'm just off to the rubbish bin. Oh, you don't want to put yourself in there, that would be the end of you. What do you mean? Well, you could end up in the incinerator or the dump and you'll be bad for the environment. What a waste. I never thought of myself as being bad. Don't worry. Why don't you put yourself in the recycling bin instead? 
Then you'll end up with something new. What do you mean? It's simple, really. The mil- they'll melt you down and change you into something new. Wow, that's amazing. I know. And did you know that aluminium takes a lot of energy to extract from the earth and melting you down takes a lot less? Brilliant. I'm off. Well, haven't we learned a lot about the three R's? We hope all of you watching will spread the word.